I told the boys that uh, I was really sick and I didn't use the C word. I was told don't use the C word, don't scare them. I just felt like I was lying to them by not telling them what was going on. We had known prior to that day that he was sick. That's what we were told originally. I uh, took Jamie out for a walk. Um, I decided that I was going to tell them what was happening. And uh, I didn't know what to say. There's no script. Nobody told me how to break the news or something. He asked if I knew that he was sick. I said, yes. He said, you know, I know you're really sick, but I, at least it's not like cancer or something. He actually honestly said those words. He had to tell me that, no, I do have cancer. And even as a 10-year-old, like, you don't understand what stage four squamous cell necessarily means, but it's powerful, I guess, to feel that, like, that's what he had. It's not just the word sick, because sick can mean a lot. And then um, this 10-year-old starts giving me a lecture about cancer. There's amazing doctors out there. There's amazing technology out there. He says, you know, uh, you're going to be OK. Um, not everybody dies from cancer anymore, or something like that. And there's a lot of hope that can still be instilled. Don't overcoddle them, just let them be positive. When you have either one of us or people close to him who can give him that confidence, I think that, you know, gave him a little bit of hope.